What's up guys, I'm Paul's Build, and today Hometopia have very kindly sponsored a playthrough of the career mode for their new designing and building simulation game, Hometopia. This game basically turns you into a home developer slash interior designer, and it's releasing an early access on the 27th of September. The link to the Steam page is in the description. Okay, let's dive in. Well, it looks like we're rank one. Let's probably click the start here button. Hey there, ready to begin your career as professional home designer? Well, I'll show you the ropes. Let's get started. Okay, so we're using the WASD keys to move around and we hold the right button to turn the camera. Scroll the mouse wheel to go in and out. Okay, so we can click this button to go up and down, have a look at different floors, which is pretty cool. And we can switch to walk mode. Oh, cool. We can do a tour of the place on foot. That's so good. And we walk around with WASD. Can we go inside? Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, I love this. <laughs> That's so good. This is a cute little house. I say little, it's not that little. <laughs> we can now toggle the walls on and off. Okay, I think I'm happy, let's go next. Start a renovation job. If you wanna make a name for yourself, you're gonna have to get out there and start doing jobs for clients. I'm here to make sure you know what to expect. Let's renovate. I love that she loves her job. I mean, that, that's a great energy to bring to the team. Let's do it, let's renovate. Pretend she's the client and we're here to do a renovation job. We need to fix up the bedroom. Okay, she's picky, she loves wooden floors and she doesn't like plaster walls. I mean, that's not that picky, honestly. I, I think that's a pretty normal request to have. So we can look at the work order. Client information at the top. Oh, so this is her name, Picky Woman. <laughs> She's actually picky. <laughs> That's her only personality trait. That's amazing. We need to do all the objectives for the bedroom, which is renovate the primary bedroom, complete the room objectives, below quality and cluttered. Okay, so let's click X to close this. Primary bedroom, right. This is what we're working on. We need to go to the bedroom. What, in, in walk mode? Okay. Where are the stairs? Over here. Ah, here we are. Okay, it's this room. Oh wow, this is a mess. Yeah, it is a mess. Did no one get rid of this before I came over? I mean, okay, hover over the trash with and hold R to get rid of it. Dustpan and brush on a cardboard box. That is brave. How big is this dustpan and brush? Wow, I'm just going to carry them all on one trip. That is 100% something I try and do and then just <laughs> drop it all the way down the stairs and have a much bigger job. Now we're ready to turn it into a proper bedroom. At the bottom of the screen, we'll see the designer's catalog and we can find everything we need to do the job. Okay, cool. We can filter, it looks like. So the, the floor coverings category. If we click this, it'll filter to that. That's so good. Okay, she likes wooden floors. So carpets. No, okay, let's go back. It's going to be wood. Wow, oh, cherry hardwood, but that's nice. Uh, we'll get bonus to our pay by giving the client the things they like, so choose wisely. Well, she wants any kind of wood, so I assume we can just cheap out and just go for this vintage hardwood. That's kind of the look we've got at the minute, because these floors are hideous. Ah, okay, and we just left click. It's quite satisfying, really. I feel like this game fits that like satisfying niche of ASMR type, you know, where you just, it's just nice to, to fill all the gaps. Okay, the wall coverings. Oh, we're going to do the walls anyway. Oh yeah, and she wants plaster, right? Oh no, she doesn't like plaster. Whew, that was a close one. Let's go for wallpaper. Oh, some of these are awesome. Can we get whatever we want? These are horrible. <laughs> I feel like I've committed now. So we're going to have this disgusting wallpaper all over the shop. Oh, we'll just drag it around. There we go. Oh, and oh, we can close the door. And we open it the other way. Wow, the hinges on that door are impressive. And we're going to need a bed. What one do we like the look of? Let's just go for the cheap one because I don't know if we're paying for this, but it feels like we are if this is a career. Ooh, okay. Where would we have the bed? Well, there's a door right there. So maybe we should just put it right in front of that door. <laughs> Rendering it completely useless. Normally, we'd need to add more things for full renovation, but since we're just practicing, this will do. Oh, it's always nice to put a personal touch on an item. So customize the bed. Left click on the bed customize my goodness furniture fabric and we can pick wow you this is such depth in customization i love this oh that looks horrible should we go for that one <laughs> yes i'm making this like i don't even know it's a kind of child slash grandma's bedroom we left click to apply it Fantastic. I think it's safe to say we've gotten the hang of basic renovation. Now we're going to go through the building process. And if we look at our work order, we can see we've done everything. That's perfect. Let's complete. Wow, we get $1,000 for this. Okay, except in a real job, the client will leave a comment about our work in their own words. Fair enough. She's happy. Five stars. And she was picky. So I actually think we've done a really good job. Okay, we're trainees. 
Landscaper. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> this game. This game is, it's got so many levels. And can I just say as well, the music for this game is so good. I think I spent just a full minute before I started playing, just listening to the music and dancing along because it's actually really good. I'll play a little sample of it now. Like, you can really get into it, you know what I mean? Um, I didn't put it in just because of editing. Sometimes music gets a bit weird, so I haven't got it for the whole video, but that is what the music is like. Let's look at some construction. All right, one more practice job before she lets us loose into the real world. This time, we're going to build a room from scratch. Okay. Oh, wow, it really is from scratch. We'll build a cozy little one-room backyard studio here behind the house. This is going to be cozy. Uh, if that's a tree, this is going to be cozy. Click the task name to see the objectives. Construct a studio. Okay, we need to build the foundation of the room. We now have access to the catalogs, building supplies. Click the shortcut to access foundations. Ah, foundations. And then we just drag it. 172 square feet. Wow, okay. Uh, assign it. And then, wow, this is so cool, studio. Now assign the entire foundation. We Ah, okay, cool. So now we can drag. This whole thing is going to be a studio. Cool. And we're done. That is the easiest laying of foundations I've ever seen. All right, now we've got our objectives. Let's click on these. Ceilings require walls, so let's build walls around the room. They do require walls. I'm glad she knows that. Place the walls along the outside edge of the room. Use Q and E to rotate the wall pieces. Okay. Can I drag them? Yes. Nice. Hmm, on second thought. Okay, I goofed. <laughs> This space is larger than I was intending. Let's save some money by making it smaller. For that, we'll go to our tools. Time for some demolition. Uh, now double click on these walls and floors to demolish them. Oh, just those ones. Okay. Double click. Oh, that's good. So you can't accidentally just like delete everything. This is really good, actually. Straight down to the foundations. Now we can replace the missing wall. We go build, select the wall and then place it in. Okay, let's put a ceiling on. Ceiling tiles. Place them on top of the walls and let's drag them across. Now we need a door. We do need a door. That's that's what I was thinking as well. I think we need a bit more. It kind of has TARDIS vibes right now. I feel like uh, we, we need some more things, but a door would be good too. Okay, open the install catalog and browse to doors. Doors? Oh, garage doors. Let's go exterior doors. And I assume we can pick whichever we want. Let's go for a standard exterior door. Let's really push the boat out. Which side do we want the door on as well? I suppose that's this is the front of the house, so it should probably be like here, shouldn't it? Otherwise, it's a bit strange. Not bad. How about some windows to let a little light in? Same as before, no shortcuts. Open the install, find the windows and shutters, and then pick something we like. Let's go for a large noble cross window. And let's put this one right here. And let's put another one on here. Looking good. Remember how to place flooring? So we can click the shortcut or go the long way through install, flooring, and then pick the type we want. So we can pick whatever we want this time. If it's a studio, I'm going to go in wood still because I feel like that's good. And let's get some nice oak hard wall flooring. Now for the interior walls, we're going to do a different way. We can paint them. Interesting. Swatches. And we can pick any color we like. Oh, definitely pink violet. That, that wasn't even a choice. We can paint the floors, it looks like, as well. <laughs> paint all the walls. Interesting. Okay, I don't know how I feel about it. We're going to have all of those three be pink, and then this one is going to be pearl white. Now we're going to have a look at the exterior tasks. We need a roof. We do need a roof, to be fair. Let's get the low pitch porch roof, and then use Q and E to rotate it. Kind of looks like thatch right now. <laughs> uh, those those and then ah i made a mistake okay so i built up i didn't listen to her in her infinite wisdom and i built the wrong way so i'm going to demolish these these ones and then build again uh from the outside in as it's suggesting ah, and then it'll join up nicely that makes a lot of sense okay let's roof coverings let's go for blue roof shingles and then we can click on the exterior wall surface, choose a surface, then click and drag over the studio's bare exterior walls to apply it. Oh yeah, it's, it's just nothing on the outside. Okay, uh, let's go exterior walls, siding. Let's go for a, a classic vinyl siding. 
Okay, that was a lot, but I'm confident you're ready to get out there and make a name for yourself. We so are. She doesn't know how right she is. Don't forget me when you make it big. We definitely will. Oh, and one more thing. Meet me back here in a little bit. I have a surprise for you. Oh, okay. Well then, how are we going to forget you? Complete job. We did a, an awesome job for Charlene. And she's going to pay us another thousand pounds. I feel like she's doing a lot of effort when we're getting paid, like the whole the whole amount. I kind of feel like if I was literally telling them how to do their job, I would I would knock a little bit off the price. But I'm not complaining. We're doing a really good job. And we've reached rank two. Look at us. We're still trainees, but we're on our way. Does this mean we get anything? Oh no, I think we get something at junior. This is the whole, oh wow, okay. This is the whole level of trainee then, is that? And then when you get to there, you get to junior. Wow, we have a long way to go. We're ranked two outdoor construction jobs available. This is probably gonna be my favorite bit. Oh wow, we got a lot of new items as well. That stands out. This looks awesome. Okay, cool. Lots of new stuff. I'm excited to dive in. Surprise. Oh, it's Charlene's surprise. <laughs> it's like instantly. So that surprise she mentioned, we're looking at it. This show home is now yours to keep. You're giving us a house, Charlene. This is the most generous woman in the world. We need to protect her. I had to take all the stuff out since we need it to stage a home in another part of town. But this one's got good bones. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's absolutely fine. Take whatever out that you need. It's your house. It should be a perfect starter home while we're out earning money and building our reputation. Awesome. We've got a free house. The movers left a bit of a mess behind, but it's nothing you won't be able to take care of pretty easily. We've got our dustpan and brush. They also disassembled the backyard studio. I hope you weren't too attached to it. I mean... It's a bit late now, isn't it? Then again, if you were, you could always build a new one. Just drop it, Charlene. Anyway, feel free to build and decorate as much as you want. Return to the city map when you're ready to take on some jobs. But for now, take your time, hang out, invite friends and enjoy your new home. Happy building, she'll be in touch. Awesome. Well, I think we need to clean up our house, don't we? Let's go into walk mode. Does anyone want this? Anyone? No? Okay. Okay, we've just cleaned the whole house, but we've only got $2,000. So, I mean, we could start decorating or we could go out, do our first job and then come back and, and do something to our house that's a bit more substantial. So I think we might do that. Oh, wow, we can change the sun settings as well. Wow, that's so cool. And the sun angle. Wow, this is awesome. I love the customization in this. That's so good. Well, let's put it back to midday. So let's go back to the map. Now, it looks like we've got a few jobs. Medium renovation job. Yeah, 4,000. That's pretty good. Or some small ones that give us very little. I feel like we're ready. Oh, wow. We can buy land as well. Ooh, look at this. Wow. Okay. Rolling meadows. Fortuna Shores. How much are these? Okay. We need quite a lot. These places are awesome. Okay. It's definitely somewhere that you can, uh, you can save up and get a nice place out there, I guess. Um, let's close this. We don't have any money for that. So I <laughs> don't know why I'm even trying. Okay, medium renovation job. Let's do it for Henrietta. Got to renovate four rooms. We've got 15,000 as our budget and it's in the plaza neighborhood. Okay, let's get started. We need some renovation work. I'm sure you'll do a better job than we did. I'm eccentric. I like everything with very few exceptions. I really want all remaining furniture styles. Just don't give me tiled walls. Why should you go against tiled walls? Thanks again. I'm sure I'll be well with the results. Basically, she's open to most styles. Just don't give her tiled walls. She has like a vendetta against tiled walls. <laughs> We've got 15 grand to work with, which we can definitely do. And it has to be one to two for item quality. So I can bet in the future there's going to be there's going to be clients who are like, oh no, we only want quality five, and then you have to use like your your higher tier uh, items on them, and that's when the budget probably becomes a bit more of a difficulty. So let's do let's do this. We can do it. So it's kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, and large bedroom for the baby. Wait, 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 wait. So the medium bedroom is for the parents, and the large bedroom is for the baby. Lucky baby. So there's trash in the kitchen. Oh my goodness, there really is. Ah, uh, we can, I didn't realize we could do the cleaning from the sky. This is much better. Wow, she's really left her house in an absolute tip. Come on, Henrietta. You, you know better than to leave like a cinder block in the middle of your kitchen. <laughs> then we need floor coverings. Well, she doesn't like tiles. Or was that just tiled walls? Let's check again. Tiled walls. Okay, she's happy with tiles. Ooh, let's go for this nice gray quartz. Okay, with the, the sun on it. Oh, wow, these walls are so grimy. I can't believe they've lived like this. Wall coverings. 
Uh, interior walls. Are we going to have wallpaper in the kitchen? Or maybe we should just go for plaster for these. Let's just do blue plaster. Okay, well, it looks okay. It, it could be worse. Uh, she needs a fridge. Budget fridge. I mean, I'm trying to keep an eye on our budget here. I think it's not that much more for the vintage refrigerator. So let's... Oh, no, that's that's horrible. Okay. Use, used fridge. Budget fridge looks good. Let's go with the budget fridge. Let's have our fridge in this back corner here. Then we need a sink. We've got a few different sinks. Yorkshire sink. Okay, Lancaster sink. Nola and curtained. Oh wow, we're not going for curtains. So let's just go for the Yorkshire ones. This is quite cute. Budget stove oven. That feels good. Let's put a couple of cabinets around this area as well. So they've got something by the by the window. And then another appliance. Let's have a range hood over the oven as well. And we need two lights in here. Let's have some ceiling lights. Just hanging bulbs are probably good. I've gone into walk mode to put these up. I feel like it's actually easier in walk mode a lot of the time. Uh, let's hang some lights. So we've got fluorescent tube lights. Let's just whack a couple of these in. And then decorations, we need window treatments, some nice double curtains. Maybe we need to move these out a little bit. In fact, let's move these over to this side and have more of like a, a, a chopping board station or something. Okay, that's better. There's a lot of decorations we can put in. Let's get some wall art in there. Say a streetscape, that's quite cute. I'm sure about that. A vivid holiday, that's cute. And that's some house plants. Let's have a little succulent, a wilting tree. Okay, let's put that in the corner. That's a bit sad. <laughs> I think the better plants are probably further into the uh, into the game. And let's get another another potted succulent on that counter there. Then we're gonna have an abacus just uh, right in the middle of the floor because you never know when you're gonna need to do maths quickly and uh, and use an abacus. Let's move on. Okay, we've got a medium bathroom here. It's still got some trash in it, so let's clean that up. Now we need to do the floor covering and the wall coverings. Let's go tiled floors again. Let's have basic white tiles. It's a bathroom. Let's go like bougie. We're going to have like green diamond. That's going to be like a feature wall. And then we're going to have minimalist wallpaper on the rest of the bathroom. There we go. Okay, it's just white and then green. It works. Uh, shower. Let's have a, a simple corner shower in the green. Okay, well, there's a, there's a window there, so we're not going to do it right there. We're going to do it on this side. There we go. A little shower in there. And then we're going to need a bathroom sink. I feel like I'm just going to put the bathroom sink over here. This toilet is so disgusting as well. We're not even changing it. Okay, ceiling lights. Let's put just a hanging bulb. Then we can put a little uh, little piece of bathroom furniture. We're gonna have some wall-mounted toilet roll on this side. We're gonna have a, a black wall shelf. Let's just put that in so they've got some storage. Um, oh, my toilet mat. I hate these. <laughs> I just find that so gross. Um, let's not put one of those in. Let's put some a rolled towel on top of the little caddy there. And then we could probably change that black shelf to be white. So let's give that a go. Let's click on it. Let's click customize. Can we change it to be, yeah, paint primer. There we go. That's actually all I wanted. I didn't need primer's fine. And some decor. Does it, does it like, does the game punish us for putting, oh, you can't put wood piles in here. Okay, <laughs> just wondering. Um, like trash bin with a lid. You, you can put a trash bin with a lid in here, okay. Uh, interesting. You have some really rogue things like women's hat and like wood pile. Uh, but we're not going to put those in. Let's put in some art because everyone wants to look at something in the toilet, don't they? Everyone wants to look at a cactus whilst they go to the loo. Let's put one there. Let's put a house plant in as well. You've got to have a plant in here. We've got an aged house plant. Let's whack that in the corner. 
We really need some nicer stuff, don't we? And let's whack a mirror in here. Vintage oval mirror. That's going to go there. Okay, we've hit the requirements. On to the next room. So this is the medium bedroom, which I think is... Is it their bedroom? There's a large, bed large bedroom for the baby. And then there's another one which looks like a child's room. So I think this is their bedroom, like the parents' bedroom. So interesting. They've got a lot of... They've got a history of the world. Wow, I bet that's a long read. Interesting. Is that when they're from? 1968? I feel like I've just slipped into a sci-fi movie. Okay, and they've got some broken glass in here. We'll clean that up as well. Okay, trash is out of the way. Let's put some floors in. They're gonna have a nice carpet in here. It's not gonna be red. Uh, let's just go for clean, like classic clean carpet. No one wants anything fancy with carpet. There we go. That's much nicer. Then interior walls. Let's put some wallpaper in. Oh, pink clouds. See, some of these are really nice. Let's get some wooden panels. Just get some wood and then some white. It looks all right. It looks fine. I'm just going to move that bed out of the way because it's kind of coming through the wall. Is it a bed? I don't know what it is. I'm going to move it though. Hope they don't mind. There we go. Now it looks good. Okay. I mean, apart from the bed, which is horrible, but we're not, we're not doing a bed for them. Let's get a standing lamp in here as well. Ooh, a tripod lamp. Okay, sure. A ceiling fan. Oh, cool. And they're going to have one of these in the middle of the room. And then they need some furniture. Okay, wardrobes. We're going to have a bedroom wardrobe there. Then we can have a nightstand. What do we want? Let's get a nice gray watch. Gray washed one. And a kid's storage box dresser. I, I like these anyway. <laughs> I think they should have them regardless of age. So I'm going to put that there. And then they need some decorations. They definitely do. Let's put some stuff in. Okay, bedroom complete. I've completely ignored the style, so I might actually just customize this bed to be a bit less gross. That already looks so much nicer in the room. Okay, and this fan is, is needs to change. There we go. Look, look how much nicer that is. Let's put a nice green plant in here. There we go. I accidentally got rid of the aloe vera, so that, that's good though. That works. We're done with this room. Let's move on to the next one. So this is the final room. I'm just going to clean up all of the, the issues we've got with it at the minute. Some of it's kind of like, some of the trash is really disgusting. And then some of it's like, what is this? It's just rubble. <laughs> just really interesting mix of stuff, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. And this is for the baby. So... We need to make sure we put in some stuff that's suited for a baby. Now, we haven't used a lot of our money, so we've got, we're well within budget. Hopefully, we get extra brownie points for that. Okay, we've got a nice cozy uh, carpet in here now, and we need much nicer wallpaper. So let's go wallpaper. This blue desert wallpaper is so cute, but they already had that in the other room, so I feel like we need to give them something else. They can't have two kids with the same wallpaper. So let's go for the, uh, the pink clouds instead. I don't know if we need some of this old stuff in here or whether we can get rid of it, but it hasn't said we can get rid of it. So I'm just going to leave it in there. A diploma for taking first place in the category pumpkin soup. <laughs> Guaranteed award, Mayor's Handshake. I mean, I love this. I just think they're, uh, they're a little strange for a kid's bedroom. Okay, we're ready to complete this job, our first proper job. We've spent 7,000 of the 15,000. They're happy with everything. So do we still get the same base pay? Oh, that is our base pay. Maybe we get more. Let's complete it and see what they think. Ah, okay. They liked 28 items. There were deductions for the items they didn't like. To be fair, I don't know why they don't like the low quality items because nothing was that bad. They said they want one to two and I, I'm, I thought we gave them one to two, but maybe we didn't. So we got... We got a little bit extra, then we lost 694, and we basically got paid a little bit less, but it's about four grand. There's too many tiled walls. Did we tile any walls? I didn't think we did in the end. 
The bedroom baby isn't great. They didn't like it. It isn't terrible, but it isn't great. Well, okay, let's not let's not save this job to the to the gallery then. Okay, let's go back to our starter home then. Now I plan to live in our garden, so I'm gonna have a look at some of the landscaping stuff we've got. We've got outdoors. Look at all this stuff. Pools. Wow. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. Hot tub. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, we're first off. We're just gonna have a hot tub. Just right there. We could have two hot tubs. No, it's a bit much. Then you can plant a lot of stuff. Wow, this is really cool. Like the amount of the variety of stuff you can plant is really good. So there's a starter tree. Oh, that's cute. Let's put a starter tree right in the middle of our garden. Backyard tree. Oh my goodness. Was that red pine? Yeah, sure. Let's grow one of those. That's a small red pine, my goodness. Neighborhood fir tree. Whack that out the front just for when Christmas rolls around. Get a couple of plants out as well and see what we can do with these. Oh, they've already got some planted. That's cute. And they've got some window pots as well. They're, they're cute. All right, let's 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 whack these in. Then we can fence in our garden a little bit with planters too. Start growing some primrose. Let's start growing Veronica stem and some bluebells. I wonder if they actually grow. I'm assuming they don't grow, <laughs> but maybe they do. Who knows? It's really cute though. I like it. I like this a lot. Um, as far as what you can do, there's a lot of depth to it. I saw on Steam it said that this is kind of like between The Sims 4 and House Flipper, and I can kind of understand where they're coming from, in that it does kind of fit that niche quite well. So if you're interested, as I said before, the link is in the description as well. Do go check it out. A picnic table! Okay, we're gonna have a picnic table there. Just spending all our money on the garden. <laughs> all right, we've made ourselves a little starter garden here. I feel like that's all right. Let's do one more job and see if we can do a little bit better this time. So I'm gonna hit escape and then return to map. Let's try the small renovation job because we didn't do very well last time. Let's just do the small ones and do them well. All right, they're in the courtyard. There's one room to renovate and it's Johnny. It's not gonna be as much of a pain as Henrietta is. How's it going? This property needs work done. Take a look around the house and put your thoughts together. People say I'm picky. Oh, they're picky. But I'm sure you're used to dealing with that sort of thing. I totally vibe with vintage styles. I don't really want all remaining furniture styles. Can't wait to see the result. Okay, so we need to be clear on what they like and dislike this time. They're gonna prefer vintage things and dislike all remaining furniture styles. Right, which room? The small kitchen. Ah, oh, it's kitchens again. Now, there's no trash this time, which is nice. At least he kind of looks after his place. Let's look at some floor coverings. Now, he's happy with anything as long as it's vintage. Now, this says vintage worn hardwood, but it doesn't actually say the style. So I feel like they could probably put the style a little bit clearer. Um, I'm going to assume that this is vintage and not other furniture styles. Right, wallpaper. Have we got some nice vintage muted tile? Now, I'm not sure I can even actually do that. That just makes me feel ill. I really can't stand that vintage one. So I'm just going to go for this white one here. That's fairly inoffensive. And see how that looks when we go into first person. I probably should have done that first, but hey, we're here now. I think that looks all right. They need a fridge. Have we got a vintage fridge? We do vintage. I'm going to put the fridge in this corner. Then we're going to go for a vintage. Ooh, we could get the curtained one. <laughs> Let's have a look at the other one and just see. They're all a bit like worn. I'm going to go for the non curtain sink. They're just quite depressing, these early builds. <laughs> Lighting wise, let's have a look. And the only vintage one we have is kids chandelier. So ah, we're saved. We've got a couple of antique floor lamps we could use in the kitchen. Let's put a nice lamp in a the corner. Then we've got kitchen cabinets. Probably want to keep with these. Let's have a few above the sink area. And then get a nice double counter down here. And then we're going to need some appliances. So what have we got here? Have we got anything vintage? We do. Oh, wow. This really is vintage. Let's, well, let's whack it in. And then we need decorations, anything vintage. Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure we had a vintage mirror. We do have a vintage mirror. Let's, do we want a mirror in the kitchen? Yeah, let's have one there. This is a perfect time to whack out the birds. Let's go for the, the vintage uh, pictures over here as well. We've got some trees and some settlers. There we go. They're kind of hung at a weird height. Maybe I'll move them up a bit. There we go. This this feels very empty. We have budget left. Uh, let's just add in some more stuff and see if it helps. Because maybe, maybe it will. If we use the budget they've given us and we give them more than they were expecting, surely that's a good thing. Let's give them the nice aged house plant. Uh, where are we going to whack it? Near the, let's whack it here. And the 
other plant over there. We've got a lot of plants in this kitchen, but they're fine with it. They're fine with it. And a hanging clock in the corner. I feel like this is better though. Like we're properly decorating it. We've got some sculptures as well. Vintage glass elk. Sure, let's, let's have that. And a white stag. These are really like inappropriate for the kitchen, but hey, it, it kind of works. If they're happy with it, we're happy with it. Let's see if we can get another of the double cabinet as well. I'm gonna whack the curtains in, maybe just adjust this slightly where it is. Adjust the mirror. And we didn't have a lot of lighting, so maybe we should add in some like, some sconces here. Let's have a couple of them, like, I don't think I've placed that picture very centrally. Let's just move the photo, the, the bird picture as well to there. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay, this is much better. We, we've got 420 left, but we put a lot more stuff in here now. Let's see if they're happy with our job this time. Okay, they wanted quality as well of zero to one. So we've got average quality, vintage, cluttered. I think these are the tags that we've come up with now. They like, okay, they've given us even more. Right, okay, they just like the items, that's good. Okay, 210, they liked it. They've given us more money. We can deal with that. Oh, okay, overall, this is lovely, but the kitchen looks like it was put together by a three-year-old. <laughs> Okay, well, well, we'll take that on board. Uh, one star. We won't be saving that to the gallery then. Uh, I think we've learned that whilst I'm a rank three interior designer, I am not good at it. <laughs> and we've just got landscaping jobs and home expansion jobs and a lot more stuff. This is much, much more stuff to do. Okay, we're gonna do one last small landscaping job and see if I can try my hand at landscaping and be a bit better than interior designing. So how's it going? They've got a construction project they're trying to get going. Let's put some of this empty yard space to work. They are an eccentric. They like everything with very few exceptions. This is our kind of person. And they vibe with all remaining furniture styles. I, they just really don't want orange painted walls. I can't wait to see the result. Okay. That seems fine. Oh, they want a workshop. It just cannot be orange. We, we, I can do this. Surely, if I put my mind to this, they're, they're happy with everything else. Thank you, Glenda. You just don't want orange painted walls. Okay, this is the right garden, isn't it? I am actually doing this in the right place. Good, good, good. Construct a workshop. Where do they want it? Build a new room. Okay. I mean... You haven't got a lot of space. I don't want to. I don't want to throw any shade, but I don't. I don't know whether you want to move before you get a workshop. Uh, this is going to be a very small room, but I'm going to do it anyway. Foundation. Let's plot out a small area at the back of their land that's going to have this workshop in it. Maybe not quite that long, actually. Let's let's demolish this area. Okay. Assign it. Workshop. Medium workshop. That's what they want, right? Yeah, medium workshop. Okay, this is good. It's the right the right size to be a medium workshop. So let's click done. Then it's gonna need it's gonna need walls first. So let's put in let's let's build some walls. Okay, let's put some roof coverings on. Let's go for, I mean, what is this? Let's keep it in keeping with that. I think that's, yeah, that's wood roof shingles. Let's go with this. And then for the walls, let's just go for a nice wooden siding. Okay, I think that looks all right so far. Now we're gonna need to put the walls down and have a look at the inside, <laughs> which is horrible. So let's go interior walls and get those in. Let's go into first person mode as well. So you can actually see what the inside looks like which is a bit better. And actually let's do the floor first. So let's have a nice wooden floor. We want like a hardwood, maybe cherry hardwood. It's a workshop. You kind of, you know, you want that rustic, rustic slash industrial look I feel for a workshop. Okay, and then interior, we're gonna want wallpaper. And let's just get some minimalist wallpaper on the inside because it's just a workshop. I feel like they're not gonna want a lot. They're gonna wanna put windows and stuff in here as well. So let's actually do that. Let's put some windows in because it looks quite bleak at the minute. Let's install windows, wide cabin windows. That feels like what we need for a workshop. Let's put a couple in here and then a small one at the end here. And let's crucially add a door in too. <laughs> we are going to need a door. Let's put a standard door on this side here. We have first person mode as well now. You can see we can come in. 
and we've got a nice view of everything. The windows are probably a bit low. We could probably move them up a bit. Yeah, everything's at a reasonable height now. Probably be a bit more symmetrical, but I'm going to let it go. <laughs> okay, we've got windows. We've got what we need. Now we need a workbench. We're running out of money. Let's get Glenda a good workbench. What about workbench three? Ooh, that looks like it's got all the tools they need. Right, let's use this one. I'm going to put it in the middle of the room because I kind of feel like that's that's important, right? And then work tools. Let's put a hacksaw on there and a planer. We're just going to have like a hanging bulb in the for, for the lighting and then any item, any item at all. Let's get a nice spider house plant as our last item. There we go. Job is done. We've got five dollars left. How do they like it? Average quality. I feel like we've done it. We haven't got any orange. Should be good. They liked it. We got a bonus. As well. Okay, cool. Right. So we can do outdoor construction a little bit better it seems than interior decoration <laughs> that's what we've learned here we go okay i'm speechless not in a good way they hated it <laughs> of course they did i feel like there's a lot more to tuck into in this game clearly i need to be better at interior decoration but just like buying the land looks so interesting like there's more coming soon as well but they've got some really beautiful spots here and you can get like a huge plot a large plot like, it seems really interesting, so I'd be I'd be interested in checking some of these out in the future. The game enters early access on the 27th of September, and the link's in the description of this video. Thanks again to Hometopia for sponsoring this playthrough. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like, it really helps the channel out, and I'll see you in the next one.